I really like inviting people to think about the blankets in our lives. I'm compelled by how an object that in some ways is so humble and simple can have so much meaning and power. I went to school to get an MFA in painting and printmaking. And um, around that time, I was starting to experiment with other materials, corn husks, walnut ink, um, stone. But uh, yeah, I've been working now with textiles for maybe the last almost 20 years. Edson's flag is an uh, artwork I made in 2004. Uncle Ed is my mom's great uncle. He was a member of the U.S. Air Corps as an airplane mechanic in World War II. Uncle Ed was a kind and generous and just a really smart guy. The flag was given to my grandmother when Uncle Ed passed away. And um, rather than it staying wrapped in that triangular shape that casket flags are often kind of folded into, I think that in our family maybe there's this sense of like giving it additional purpose. And so, um, my grandmother passed the flag on to my mother, and then my mother gave the flag to my brother-in-law who thought he would fly it from his boat. Then um, my mother passed the flag on to me. And around the same time, I had like started working with blankets in my work. Edson's flag is the first work where I included an army blanket. It was a way of acknowledging people's service and acknowledging the stories that come with that service. I was drawn to this material because of how we use blankets in my family and in the Seneca community. And we give away blankets to honor people for being witness to important life events. And this practice is held in common with other indigenous nations too. drawn to the fact that blankets are also um, imprinted with stories. And so they receive us as infants, and in many ways they accompany our departures. But we're always imprinting on them. In Edson's flag, there is one mended spot that um, I recall when somebody almost wanted to clean up that spot thinking it was like a blemish. But like for me, stains and mended parts are like beauty marks. They tell you something about the story and the life of that object. I feel like in many ways, I'm a custodian of these stories because I'm the beneficiary of, of learning from so many different people, but also making sure that I amplify those stories back out in the community.